New details tonight. He went through years of captivity, years of teaching, and today leaves behind a legacy around the state, especially in Fort Collins. Thomas Sutherland died today, and as Denver 7's Brendalis Gonzalez explains, he's a man you may have never met, but once you hear his story, you'll wish you had. Well, he's a poet, you know. There aren't enough words for Wendy Ishii to describe her late friend, Tom Sutherland. He's a teacher, a thinker, an intellectual. You see, Sutherland's life was different than most. He survived being held captive for six years after he was kidnapped by terrorists while teaching in Beirut. They just stood there and held this gun right into her neck. That's him in an interview with Denver 7. She describes how prayer got him through. Get me out of here, God. I'll do anything. Before Beirut, this was his home. Now, Tom Sutherland is someone who is ingrained in the history of Colorado State University. For years, he taught at CSU. In 2014, he and his wife received Founders Day medals, one of the highest honors. He will be deeply missed here at Colorado State University and in Fort Collins. Sutherland was also an actor appearing in a play with the she and a giver donating half a million dollars toward her theater company. But if there's one thing is she remembers most. I describe him as a, a rainbow in my heart. It's how Sutherland was as a friend. He was a man of great humility. A man whose life she knows will keep living on even after death. We are so lucky to have known him. Brendalise Gonzalez. And we are holding each other's hands in sorrow now. Denver 7. Now we spoke with his wife, Jean Sutherland, and she told us this. One thing he appreciated was the people of Fort Collins and Colorado and everything they did to keep the faith. A memorial gathering will be held in mid-August. <laughs>